Hello, thank you for your support, and you are welcome to subscribe to our channel. My job is to read this book to my audiences. That is all I am here to do. Remember, you can turn on the subtitle and read this book along with me. This channel has full authorization of reading this entire book. Today, I will be reading the book, titled, Unveiling the Secrets of OpenAI and ChatGPT, A Guide to Machine Learning and Beyond. Written by Sean DeLong. Chapter 4, Understanding Neural Networks. Neural networks are a key component of many modern machine learning algorithms and are the driving force behind many of the most exciting developments in AI today. But what exactly are neural networks, and how do they work? In this chapter, we'll take a closer look at the basics of neural networks, including the structure of a typical neural network, the role of activation functions, and the process of backpropagation. We'll also explore some of the different types of neural networks, such as feedforward networks, recurrent networks, and convolutional networks and look at some of the applications that they are best suited for. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a solid understanding of the core principles behind neural networks, and be better equipped to use this powerful technology in your own AI projects. So let's dive in, and take a closer look at the basics of neural networks. Title 1. The Basics of Neural Networks At their core, neural networks are essentially mathematical functions that are designed to learn and identify patterns in data. A typical neural network consists of several layers of interconnected nodes, or neurons, each of which processes some aspect of the input data and passes its output to the next layer. The first layer of the network is called the input layer, and the last layer is called the output layer. Each neuron in the network has a set of weights that determine how strongly it should respond to different inputs. These weights are initially set to random values, but are adjusted over time as the network is trained on labeled data. The process of training the network involves feeding in labeled data, comparing the network's output to the correct output, and using an algorithm called backpropagation to adjust the weights in order to reduce the error between the predicted output and the correct output. One of the key features of neural networks is their use of activation functions, which are mathematical functions that are applied to the output of each neuron. The purpose of the activation function is to introduce nonlinearity into the network, allowing it to capture more complex patterns in the data. There are many different types of activation functions, including sigmoid, ReLU, and softmax, each of which is suited to different types of problems and architectures. There are several different types of neural networks, each of which is suited to different types of problems. For example, feedforward networks are one of the simplest types of neural networks and are typically used for classification problems. Recurrent networks, on the other hand, are designed to handle sequences of data and are often used in applications like speech recognition and natural language processing. Convolutional networks are specialized neural networks that are designed to process images and other types of spatial data. Despite their power and versatility, neural networks also have some limitations and challenges. One of the main challenges is the need for large amounts of labeled data to train the network, which can be time-consuming and expensive to collect. Additionally, neural networks can sometimes be difficult to interpret and understand making it hard to identify the underlying patterns that are driving their decisions. Despite these challenges, neural networks are an essential tool for any data scientist or AI practitioner and are likely to continue to be a core technology in the field for years to come. By understanding the basics of neural networks, you'll be better equipped to design and train your own networks and to explore the exciting possibilities of this powerful technology. Title 2. How to Build a Neural Network with OpenAI Building a neural network from scratch can be a complex and challenging task, but fortunately, there are many powerful tools and frameworks available that can help simplify the process. One of the most popular of these frameworks is OpenAI, an open-source toolkit for developing and training machine learning models. To build a neural network with OpenAI, you'll first need to install the OpenAI software on your computer and set up your development environment. Once you have OpenAI up and running, you can start building your neural network using the OpenAI API. The first step in building a neural network with OpenAI is to define the architecture of the network, including the number of layers, the number of neurons in each layer, and the type of activation function to use. OpenAI provides a range of different options for each of these parameters, and the right choice will depend on the specific problem you're trying to solve. Once you've defined the architecture of your neural network, you can begin training it on labeled data using the OpenAI API. OpenAI provides a range of different training algorithms, each of which is suited to different types of problems and architectures. 
the training process involves iteratively feeding in batches of labeled data, comparing the network's output to the correct output, and using backpropagation to adjust the weights of the network in order to reduce the error between the predicted output and the correct output. One of the key advantages of using OpenAI to build neural networks is the large and active community of developers and researchers who are working with the platform. This community provides a wealth of resources, including tutorials, documentation, and pre-trained models that can help you get up to speed quickly and overcome common challenges in building and training neural networks. While building and training a neural network with OpenAI can be a complex and time-consuming task, the end result is a powerful tool that can be used to solve a wide range of real-world problems. Whether you're working on a classification task, a regression problem, or something more complex, OpenAI provides a flexible and versatile platform for developing and training state-of-the-art neural networks. Thank you for listening. Chapter 4 of the book, Unveiling the Secrets of OpenAI and ChatGPT, A Guide to Machine Learning and Beyond. If you watched this video so far, please like and subscribe and I will see you at the next chapter.